AMR is a phenomenon when medicines fail to treat infections. I've lived with HIV my whole life, but it's not HIV that I'm worried about. It's what follows when medicines that are supposed to treat infections fail to do so. I was diagnosed with HIV at the age of eight, and back then I was still a kid. I didn't know much about HIV, but what I remember is my mother telling me to take my pills every day, and I kept taking my pill every single day. When I got to high school now, I discovered that a lot of people didn't take HIV to be a normal thing. They didn't take it to be a normal infection. There was a lot of stigmatization and people would be insensitive when talking about this topic, so it was very uncomfortable. When I realized that the medicines that were supposed to treat me, the medicines that were supposed to make me feel better didn't work, I was so confused. I was thinking about it all the time and I started to isolate myself because honestly, what would you do if the medicines that are supposed to treat you stop working? I'm now a pharmacist and I've managed to learn a lot about AMR through my studies and the importance of medicines in our everyday life. It is important to share my story because I always think of the younger generations, the kids that are growing up just like me being little kids, they may not know much about the consequences of not taking their medicines or the consequences of AMR. I strongly feel that there is need for advocacy in terms of timely diagnosis of infections as well as taking antibiotics or antimicrobials for the right cause so that we don't end up in a situation where medicines fail to treat infections. AMR is happening now. It happened to me. It can happen to you. So there is need to raise awareness and let people know of this topic.